What's up, insiders? I'm senior veteran coach Aaron Party. Today I'm joined by coach Mark Mitchell. Happy Wednesday. Thank you for spending time with us today. Before we get started with today's topic, go ahead and sound off in the comments. Let us know where you're tuning in from, what branch of service, and the years that you served. Mark, you're a vet, right? Yes, sir. I am an Air Force vet. What years did you serve, brother? 2012 to 2018. Right on, man. Thank you for your yes, service. Sir. I'm a Navy vet, 2006, 2009. Let's see who's with us today. Got the U.S. Marine Corps. All right. SoCal, what's going on, Don? Patricia. Got Harry Air Force, Force, 85 to 95. Philip, Gladstone, Missouri. That's actually where I grew up. Thank you for your service, brother. Good morning, Marcos. All right. It's a lifetime of service there. What's going on, Clint? Uh-oh, we got the Marines sounding off. Yeah, got a lot of Army, a lot of Marines. Good afternoon, Mark. All right, Omar, Marines are in full force today. Hey, neighbor. Marines. 21, excuse me, 21 years Air Force retired. Thank you for your service. All right. Good morning, Mark. Richard from Tucson. Welcome home, brother. Right. There's more of my Navy folk. How you doing today, Antoine? 39 years. Mark, that is older than I am. That's a lot of years of service. Thank you. All right. San Antonio, Texas. I spent a lot of time there. My tech school was there. Dog training school was there. <laughs> All my TDYs were there. I could not get out of San Antonio. Couldn't stay away, huh? Nope. Good times, though. Good times. All right. Houston, not too far. We got New York in the house. All right. Lonnie in the Army. Naples, Florida. It's a fun place. Yeah, how's the weather, man? Probably better than it is here. Yeah, it's muggy out right now. Get all lost in Texas. Another 28 years. It's a long time. What's up, Dr. John? Thanks for joining Dr. John, I was going to say airborne, and then I saw the name, Dr. John. So cow. What's going on, George? Thanks for joining us. All right. A few more minutes, guys, and we'll get it kicked off. Let a few vets trickle in here. That way we'll kick things off for you guys. All right. I think Army takes the cake, man. Between the I Army and so. the Marines. I think so. The Marines, it looked like they were going to there for a minute, but the Army takes the cake today. All right. Well, thanks for joining us from far and wide. We appreciate everybody. Um, you know, I know it's earlier and later for, for some, so thank you. Get started here in just a few, another minute or so. All right. Carl, Army, welcome home. All right. So I got five minutes after the hour. Um, I'm senior veteran coach Aaron Darty, Navy veteran. Um, I'm not an elite member. Never was, unfortunately. I wish I would have found VA Claims Insider when I was still going through my claims process. Um, you know, when I did find them, it was after I worked for a VSO organization. I used to work for the Vietnam Veterans of America. And, you know, with COVID and everybody shutting down, I realized that being able to help veterans became a little limited um, as a VSO. And, you know, here being virtual, this was an amazing company to come in and continue to help and serve my fellow brothers and sisters. 
Mark, tell us what, a little bit about yourself. Yeah, Air Force vet. I uh, was a dog handler, loved it. Uh, my separation when I got out, I was very, very surprised to see the rating that I was granted. And that's what kind of kicked off the journey into doing the research and trying to educate myself on how this process works. Found VACI. Uh, the rest is history. Followed the process as a client. So I know both sides, the client and the coach side. Uh, after my journey, I enjoyed it so much as well as just felt the purpose behind the mission and behind what we do and helping veterans and the help that I got that I knew I would have never got if it wasn't for VACI. I wanted to definitely jump on board and, and help out my fellow uh, brothers and sisters here. So that is what brought me to VACI and the rest is history. Love it, man. And, and, you know, you mentioned trust in the process, you know, and, and here at VA Claims Insider, you know, with the elite program, the process is strategy, education, medical evidence, right? Like that's what we preach here. Um, we do offer those one on one coaching sessions to be able to help make that happen. Right. And so tell me, Mark, you know, when you're talking to your clients, what, what do you go through with those coaching, those one on one coaching sessions, man? Yeah, that's why if you guys are on the fence about signing up for an elite membership, I always encourage you guys for that, you know, even in that 30 minute discovery call to answer those tough questions. A lot of this is very personal. You know, it's very case by case. Uh, you've got the, the grand scheme of things, right? We have the strategies, the game plans that we look at, but it's it just varies based on the veteran from case to case. So being able to talk with the coach, one of the first things we do is we just kind of take a look at the, the whole picture, right? Let's get to know the veteran. Uh, from there, once, you know, we kind of build up that rapport, get the conversation going, talk a little bit about what's going on, and, and then ultimately how we can get those things service connected for you to get you guys the compensation and benefits you deserve. Yeah, man. And, and, you know, I know when I was filing my claims process, you know, I had I thought I had a strategy in what I was trying to do. And, you know, what I love about what we do is that we really do build out that strategy that's tailored towards the veteran to help them out, right? So we do um, assist, you know, with that phone call to help out while they're on the phone, you know, with that claim submission and then that CMP preparation. Um, you know, what else I love about VA Claims Insider that, you know, we couldn't do as uh, service officers was there's these live Zoom classes that we offer. So three, uh, three times a day, there's live Zoom classes for preparation for a lot of things that veterans are going through. Right. Um, I know Monday through Friday, there's coffee with the coaches from 8 a.m. Central Time to 9 a.m. Central Time. Um, then we do the, Like I said, the claim submission CMP prep classes and then there's those Saturday classes. Right. You want to tell us a little bit about those uh, Saturday classes, Mark? Yeah, Saturday classes are, are usually the specialty classes. Those are the fun ones, right, Things that get into the more specifics. Um, you know, they talk about higher level reviews, sleep apnea, high value claims. It's different. They, they, the, the marketing team here is great. They'll email you over and you should be notified before every live, before every Saturday class. Uh, but those here at VACI with the coaches, we're, we're just one resource, right? We're your main go-to for sure. But there's just a plethora of resources and information and just all kinds of goodies out there for you guys from VACI to help you guys with your disability process. Yeah. So if you know if you have any questions, you're maybe like you said on the fence earlier, Mark, um, you know, you can use this link that's in the chat right now to schedule a free 30 minute discovery call. See if you're a good fit for the program and we can get you scored away. Um, and so, you know, those uh, 30 minute discovery calls, right, you can get with a team member. They can kind of talk to you a little bit about what you got going on and what it is that we can potentially do to help. So, you know, if you need help, reach out to our organization at VAClaimsInsider.com. We'd love to partner with you on your VA claim journey. All right. So plantar fasciitis is our topic today. Um, you know, effective February 7th of 2021, the plantar fasciitis um, rating's got its own diagnostic code and the rating changed from where it used to max out at 50 percent to now 30 percent. So, um, you know, for people that for veterans that were already service connected for that before your grandfathered in for veterans that are now seeking that service connection, 30 percent is now the max that you can get for that bilateral factor. Um, so, Mark, you know, tell us a little bit about plantar fasciitis, man, for those that don't know. Yeah. So and the good news is it's still it's, even though it's not 50 and it's 30, it's still a high value claim. Right. It's still definitely uh, worth pursuing if, if you have those symptoms, if you're dealing with those things. 
Uh, plantar fasciitis. So I personally do not have plantar fasciitis. I am service connected for pest planus, which I know the symptoms and it can be very similar. Um, if you have like sharp heel pain, if you feel like a knife's getting stabbed through your heel, uh, it's it's very painful. And from, from what I hear and from all the veterans I know that do have it, uh, it is not fun to deal with. So one of the things I encourage, and we'll get into the plantar fasciitis here, but we have a blog on our website just another one of those resources I was talking about. And if you type in any condition, state specific, it'll pull up all the benefits. You can type in plantar, plantar fasciitis and it'll pull up the actual rating schedule for you guys. So you can take a look, self-check yourself, take a look at the symptoms in the rating criteria, as well as self-checking yourself to, to know what these symptoms are. A lot of vets don't even know what's going on, right? I know for me, as far as, the symptoms with pest planus, a lot of vets may think it's just that they've got fit, foot issues and, and things that are bothering them that with the pain. So uh, it's definitely something to worth looking into and then educating yourself on more. Right on, you know, and, you know, one big thing that you mentioned is, you know, learning through the, you know, going through that CFR to figure out what it is that they're looking for. You know, VA Claims Insider also has an amazing blog post. Um, that you can look through about plantar fasciitis to truly understand a little bit more about it. Because like you said, most veterans think it's just foot pain. Um, I don't have it personally myself, um, but you know, a lot of veterans might wake up in the morning and have sharp shooting pains um, in their heels. And so these are things that, you know, I know for all my other physical conditions that suck it up, carry on, suffer in silence mentality. Um, that's just what I know. So this is where I'd say, you know, maybe it's worth it. Get in, get seen to the, go to the doctor, you know, give us a call, you know, call in, talk to somebody in you know, one of the business development reps for a 30 minute discovery call. See if this is something that's worth pursuing. Um, that way you can get with a coach and get a good plan together to be able to try to go after this for service connection. Because as you said, Mark, this is still a high value claim at 30 percent. Um, and for most of the veterans that deal with this, right? Those inserts don't resolve the issues. Surgical interventions may have not helped or they may not be an option for the veteran at the time. So there are ways to go about getting this rating. For sure. Yeah, it's so and just to list, list off some of the symptoms here. So many veterans have or develop plantar fasciitis and common signs or symptoms include heel pain, especially after standing, walking or running painful motion, tenderness and swelling, right? So um, it even says on here, you may get some relief by icing, taking pain medications, wearing a brace, heel inserts and in shoes, night splints, and in extreme cases, cortisone shots directly into the affected area. So, you know, treatment, this is about treatment for its first benefit second, right? So focusing on all the things to try and, and stop the pain or make the pain less and, and at the end of the day, you know, like the, the little te the lacrosse ball trick I like to use on uh, my back and, and on my feet. So because of the rating schedule and the criteria, if you take a look at these symptoms, how you're rated comes down to your level of social and occupational impairment, right? There's more to it than, the, than just that. But at the end of the day, if these things are impacting you and these symptoms are things that you're dealing with on a day to day, to definitely bring it up to your coach's attention, get signed up, see what we can do to get it connected, whatever we need to do. A lot of veterans that deal with this may not have had issues with it in service. It may have been something that started after service. Um, a lot of veterans have other conditions that are back conditions, knee conditions, hip issues that may have contributed or aggravated the, you know, the plantar fasciitis. So again, getting that 30 minute discovery call in with one of the business development representatives to see if this is something that's worth pursuing. You know, there's a lot, you know, when we start talking about pain, there's a lot of additional things that are associated with that. And a lot of veterans don't know how to speak to those issues. Um, you know, I know I saw in the comments, somebody had mentioned, do they remove their inserts? And it's like, no, take those in there. You want to make sure that they know that you're utilizing those prosthetic devices that the VA's prescribed to you for those conditions. You also want to make sure that they know that they're not working for you or relieving the the pain the way that you would hope. So, you know, that's one of the big things in terms of talking about the frequency and severity. I do want to add something real quick. So Marlene just commented saying I have 50 percent for bilateral. Uh, the good news and the, the exciting part is if you are already service connected for it and you are already rated at 50, don't ever file an increase for it because you were grandfathered in. So you'll get to keep 
your 50% for your bilateral. Um, and, and unless you, of course, you file for an increase, which don't do that because you are now rated higher than what the rating schedule has. So leave that one alone. I just wanted to throw that out there since I saw that comment. Yeah, Mark, that's a great point. Once we're once we as veterans are grandfathered in at that 50 percent rating, the VA won't touch that unless we submit for an increase for that condition. So, um, Marlene, that's one that you would want to leave alone at this point in time. So, you know, I, I know, Mark, you had mentioned, you know, that you you know rub your foot on a tennis ball and things like that. I know Philip here had mentioned, you know, rolling your foot over a frozen ice bottle. Um, there's lots of things that we as veterans can do to try to help relieve and minimize that pain, um, you know, get minimized, right? It's not going to take that pain away for good, but, you know, whatever works for you, you got to find it. Um, some things will for others that, that don't for everybody. So just got to, got to figure out what it is for you and, and make it work. Yeah, it's, it's one of those two that you, depending on what you do for a living or even what you do in your social life, right? You can't do anything without your feet. Like at the end of the day, if, if you walk too far, I can't go on romantic walks with a significant other on the beach because then I'm in pain for the next day. I can't uh, do physical fitness the way that I used to or want to. I can't go for runs, which is obviously, you know, now, now you're dealing with not only the mental health, but the physical health as well as not being able to, to, you know, utilize fitness and, and work out. So, there's just so many different avenues that this can come from um, and different ways that you could potentially get it service connected. <laughs> as far as yeah, no, I'm glad you mentioned. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Mark. I was going to say, I'm glad you mentioned, you know, about trying to get it service connected. I see in the chat, JD had posted a question about, you know, what's it take to get service connected for plantar fasciitis? You know, JD, that's a great question. You know, there's three things that we need to establish service connection. We need an in-service event or injury current diagnosis and a nexus, which is a link between the two. Um, and so, you know, this is again, where if you aren't a current elite member or master, uh, mastery member, I would recommend signing up so that you can, you know, talk to a coach with the elite program and find out exactly what it's going to take to get that service connected. If you're dealing with this condition, especially again, now knowing that it's a 30% potential rating, and Mark, you know, you were, so you were saying about the rating scale there. Yeah, I was actually, I was just going to read off the, the rating chart here for the symptoms. And I did see a question, uh, Jeremy, I'm still, if I'm still in, but got plantar fasciitis back on 2013, am I only allowed up to 30% or up to 50% since it happened before the change in 2021? So the decision would be made after. So it's going to go off the most recent rating schedule. So even though you would have that, even if you had record of it and you had the diagnosis, um, once you actually file the claim and follow the claim disability process, that's what it's going to go off of. Um, going back to the rating schedule. So here's the, the diagnostic code is 5296 plantar fasciitis. And the VA ratings are broken down 10, 20, and 30%. Okay, so for the 10%, uh, it's otherwise unilateral or bilateral. For 20%, no relief from both non-surgical and surgical treatment on one foot, so unilateral, and then for 30%, no relief from, from both non-surgical and surgical treatment, bilateral for both feet. So as you can see, some can have it just in one foot or the other. Uh, if you do have it in both feet, uh, that is one of the, the criteria in terms of the rating schedule, but be sure to take a look at that. Like I said, there's all kinds of resources. You know, we've got the military uh, disability made easy, which makes it very, very easy and simple to look at all the rating schedules and gather all the information on the conditions uh, the blog. I know it keeps keep going back to that and it's funny, but I taught myself so much off that thing. There's so much good information there for you uh, and it's free. So just dive into that because there's all kinds of goodies there and it makes it easy to get connected with the coach after you gather the information and realize I should probably get a coach. <laughs> there's all kinds of links to get signed up. You know, and it's, it's funny you say that, um, you know, you talk about the blog post, Mark. Uh, one thing that really helped me to um, as a veteran was Brian's e uh, book, you know, You Deserve It. Um, even though I had looked at a lot of these resources over the 15 years that I've been out of service, um, 
yeah, it's it's weird just kind of like thinking about all the different things that are available to you and then seeing it all in one stop. Right. So, um, you know, and there's a lot of additional information in there about trying to get things service connected, the additional benefits that we're entitled to. So Brian's book, You Deserve It, is a great resource for all veterans as well. Yes, I've got my signed copy still. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's see. What's next? All right. So, uh, you want to talk a little bit about the CNP exam for plantar fasciitis? Yeah. yeah. You know, so when it comes down to those CNP exams, right, Mark? So, you were mentioning those things that they're looking for in terms of the rating criteria. So, where one of the veterans was mentioning again, do I wear those in? You definitely want to make sure that you're taking those insoles with you if you've got orthopedic shoes wear those in. You wouldn't want them to think that you're utilizing something that has not been prescribed to help you with that condition. And so, you know, make sure you go in there. One big thing that I always say with CNP exams is, you know, be vulnerable. Um, it's difficult as veterans to truly be honest about how these conditions impact us. You mentioned, you know, long walks on the beach and how that truly impacts you. So, you know, veterans with plantar fasciitis may end up having other conditions that could be secondary to it. So, you know, again, that's where if you're dealing with this condition, I'd highly recommend, you know, if you haven't already signed up, t making that 30 minute discovery call to see if this is a good fit for you to help you get the benefits that you deserve. It did change my life. I know you see that a lot and you hear it and it's it's it doesn't get old on our side. I'm sure <laughs> seeing the win after win, especially for the veterans out there who are still fighting and, and still getting you know, hit back by the VA, but you just got to keep swinging. You got to keep going. You can't stop. You know, I, my story is a little unorthodox before I was a client and before I was fully committed, I was one of those veterans. I was like, ah, I don't, I don't want to have to worry about it. I can do this on my own. I'll figure it out. I'll put the time and effort into it. And I did, and I learned a lot from it, but inevitably I hit roadblocks that just because of, you know, the knowledge, when you, when you sign up for VACI, you, you are assigned to coach, but you're really involving yourself and becoming a part of, you know, the family, because ultimately if I have a question, I'm going to go to SVC Aaron or I'm going to go to another senior coach or another coach. So the, the, the knowledge is just, you could spend the rest of your life studying and, and educating and researching, but you can't put together the power of how many brains and how many veterans we have together as an organization. So if, if I don't know the answer, if I don't know the question, somebody else does and we'll find it. Yeah, I love that, man. And that's where, you know, you mentioned that where if you don't know, you'll go to an SVC. SVCs utilize other SVCs and, and we take those questions elsewhere, too. So, you know, again, if you need help with your claim, you can get started for free today. You can sign up um, with VAClaimsInsider.com, utilizing the link um, with uh, and that's in the chat. So if you're on the fence, here's what I can tell you from my own personal experience. When I was going through the process and I hit my roadblocks, that's when I finally reached out to a for-profit agency. And like I said before, man, I wish the VA Claims Insider existed back then. The knowledge that we were able to share with our clients here is unreal in terms of the value that they have that they can take over and utilize within their claims processes. So I love that part about it, man. Huge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and just backtracking a little bit with the CNP. So CNP for plantar fasciitis, um, it, it says here that the CNP examiner might order x-rays of your feet to help determine if there is objective medical evidence such as calcified heel spurs. Uh, I don't like that to be a deterrent for anybody to not want to file it, right? Because they're like, oh, we got to do it. I know for my back when I filed for my back. I got taken for surprise when they ordered x-rays, MRIs, a bunch of additional testing. And it, it obviously, it matters. It carries weight. They want to be able to look at things and rule other things out and, and confirm. But ultimately, at the end of the day, this is what you can, these are your symptoms, right? Nobody knows you better than you. So if you are having these issues, if you are dealing with plantar fasciitis, you know, we can help you put together that battle plan. You need a diagnosis. That's the first step. So if you don't have a diagnosis, then you either need to get linked up with us to, to utilize the resources that we can send you to and or go to the doctor, go to the VA, go make an appointment, uh, get yourself a diagnosis because that's step one. If you have that condition, then the rest 
you know, can come with that. We can figure out how to get a secondary service connected or get a nexus to get a service connected, whatever it may be. But um, yeah, that's my little, my little rant on that. You know, and you mentioned the x-rays because not only can a CNP examiner order those x-rays, but I know we always recommend, you know, that veterans get x-rays of both of their feet from either a VA or a private doctor to confirm or exclude the presence of like, you know, even heel spurs when it comes to things like plantar fasciitis that may contribute to pain. So, you know, being able to set yourself up with success is, is key. And, and, you know, if you don't have a coach, I know for myself, having a coach is what would, you know, would make and break the claim there. So again, if you're on the fence, you know, you can go to vaclaimsinsider.com, look at the resources. It's completely free to sign up. Um, and so that is definitely something to look into. Um, and here we are talking about hill spurs. I see JD posted that they have, um, they were told that they have uh, hill, uh, hill spurs under their Achilles tendon. And so, you know, if you're dealing with that, JD, this is where, again, being able to go into the doctor, confirm that diagnosis, rule that out to be able to see what's contributing to that pain is going to be helpful for you in terms of being able to gather that evidence for a claim if you're not already service connected or for an increase if you already are. Well said. The question, I'm going to butcher this. Monsieur, Peter, hopefully I didn't butcher that too bad. Uh, TVC is representing me right now. Can I still seek help from BACI? You can have an accredited. I have one right now. A lot of the coaches here at BACI have one on file. Uh, it's just good to have, they have access to, to different resources and can assist. You can have both. Uh, we are not accredited uh, VSOs. Uh, we will walk you through step for step. We will help you. We will guide you. We're here for you along the way. You know, I know we're, we're hammering home on the sign up, but it is a free call guys. You get on the phone and, and you might not even be the best fit. So at least we can, you know, get down to the nitty gritty, get to the details. And if you are a good fit, you're going to know it right away and you're going to want to be ready to go and roll. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't have to take all the 30 minutes. You get them on the phone, you have your questions, ask your questions, and they will uh, get those answered for you. But you, long story short, do not need, or if you do have an accredited agent, you can still work with us and we can still help you. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of veterans do have accredited organizations that are assisting with them them with their claims. And like you mentioned, they can definitely stay on your your claim as your accredited agent. We can then help guide you through the process um, through the coaching services there. And so I also see something here. You know, um, Mendez posted that they did 100 mile marches in four days back in '87. Um, and he's had foot problems ever since and was in the army, never complained about it. Um, did go to medical and certificate and service connected. So Mendez, this is where being able to have, you know, we have to meet those three criteria for service connection. So if you don't have a coach sign up to have them look through these records to see what, what it is that you can potentially do the boots that we wear in, in service can potentially lead to plantar fasciitis, those long rucks and marches, runs, that can also lead to it. You know, again, there's also things that potentially can link to it outside of service that, um, you know, if we're service connected for something else that we can then secondary it off of. So, um, you know, and I say that because I see Tarsha had mentioned that they're 40% for their back and had surgery for plantar fasciitis. So definitely, I, I would highly recommend Tarsha you know, having that free 30 minute discovery call, see if this is something that's worth pursuing for you and your benefits claim. Speaking of 40%, I, there's a, there's a caveat to this. There's a special rating category for plantar fasciitis. Um, so I'm just going to read it off the note here. So if the veteran, so if there's actual loss of use of the foot, then it can be rated up to 40%. So if the plantar fasciitis is so bad and the symptoms are so bad that you lost the use of the foot, it can actually be rated higher than that 30%. It can be up to 40. Um, and I don't, Aaron, I don't know if this would apply or not, but I would assume that if you're at the 40%, you could also go for special monthly compensation. For loss of use. Okay. Yep. There is special monthly compensation for loss of use like that. Um, you know, and yeah, this is, you know, it, it, you know, this is where a lot of veterans don't think outside the box like that, right? I know I didn't for a really long time. Um, you know, I know that for me, if I started getting, you know, heel pain right now, I'm service connected for my back. Um, you know, the way I walk is not normal anymore. So, you know, 
that could potentially be something that I would end up looking at as an aggravating factor there. Um, in the chat, too, I see Randy had mentioned that they had Achilles tendon repaired. And is there a claim for that? Potentially, Randy, um, you know, this is where I'd say that, you know, for things that we had that started in service, right, or within 12 months of discharge, it's always worth it to see if there's the ability to be able to claim those. There's also those potential presumptive conditions that can happen outside of a certain time frame, but within a specific frame, uh, time frame for the VA ratings purposes. And as long as we can meet that criteria, then it's worth it to pursue our benefits. Spot on, man. Spot on. You know, Mark, Larry posted a good question here. Um, let's address this. Larry said, I'm service connected for arthritis to my right knee. I filed a secondary mental health claim and had a CNP exam. I was told by the examiner if I didn't seek any type of treatment, she was going to deny my claim. Is that true? Larry, I always recommend follow up treatment for our veterans. Um, you know, having a diagnosis is one thing, but, you know, being able to go in and truly have all of our symptoms documented and that follow up treatment, that continuity of care. It's one of the big things the VA looks for, um, you know, with the diagnosis, that's one of the three criteria. So the examiner saying that can be speaking outside of the way the VA actually rates those disabilities, Larry. I would recommend that you wait for your decision to come back. And if you don't have a coach, link with a coach so that they can review any type of decision with you to see if there's anything that can be done to combat that type of a decision. Yes, Clifton. Yeah, Look at that. 80 to 100, 17 days. 17 days. Congratulations. That's a huge turnaround. That's why we preach strategy, education, and medical records. You know, that that's a method, uh, method really does can help speed up a lot of claims. Not all of them go that quick, but the ones that do, those types of wins, man, that's life changing. You know, that's definitely why I came here to VA Claims Insider. Um, I wanted to make sure that I could help, you know, get as many veterans up to whatever percentage it is that they deserve, man. And, and Clifton, for you, 100% in 17 days, that's huge. Congrats, man. That is huge. The benefits is are a lot out there. That block was over a lot of the benefits, too. If you type in the if you type in your 100%, it'll pull up all the different state benefits, federal benefits, student loan forgiveness, property exemption. I mean, it, the list goes in on, you know, uh, Champ VA for dependents. So there's just a lot of information. It's almost overwhelming, but you, there's a lot out there for veterans. So definitely do the research and dig into it because it can be life changing for sure. The real, that really is, man. And, you know, I see something in the chat here from Tommy that just, you know, asking about being out since 87 and can you still file a claim? Tommy, this is where being able to have a coach through the elite process, in my opinion, is invaluable for veterans to be able to coach them through where you can find and obtain that documentation, that medical evidence that you're going to need to truly support your claim. Um, you know, and so again, you know, if you want to talk to one of our teammates, you can schedule a free 30 minute discovery call, um, VACI free 30.com. And so that link is in the chat. If you want to go ahead and have that 30 minute discovery call and find out if you're a good fit for the program, you know, potentially be like Clifton here. If you, if you rate it and warn it, you know, going from 80 to hundred percent, even if it's not in 17 days, um, I know some vets that go, you know, their process takes longer than others, but you know, getting to the finish line is what matters the most. Yes. And Jimmy Griffin says there are times that veterans can't make a lot of appointments due to work schedule or like me being a single parent. First of all, keep grinding, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, second of all, our, we're, we're, we're family over here. We really are. We're an organization. We get together through the Zoom classes, coffee with the coaches and just hang out. There's all kinds of good stuff. So, there are ways if you reach out to us, you send us an email, give us a phone call, we'll figure something out. We'll get something scheduled where we can make the time to get it taken care of. Uh, Terry just scheduled my 30 minute call for tomorrow. Awesome, Terry. Congratulations. 
you know, you're one step closer to being an insider here. And this is where I'd say, you know, hopefully within that 30 minute discovery call, you're able to talk about the things that you've been dealing with, you know, based on your time and service to see again, what the company can do to assist you with that claims process. Let's see. So I think that was about all we had for plantar fasciitis. I don't know if you want to. That's about all I saw, too. You know, one thing I'll, I'll tell you that, uh, you know, a lot of veterans, when they really think about it, you know, I, I you know, I, like you said, man, I don't have plantar fasciitis, but my conditions that I do have that cause a lot of pain with things like that, that's where it does open up the door to potential secondary conditions. And that's where, again, getting on that 30 minute discovery call like Terry is tomorrow will help answer some of those questions about things that can potentially be claimed that a lot of us may not have thought about previously. Yeah, I mean, a big one we kind of already touched on a little bit, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, depending on what you do for occupation, you can, you know, be put in a tough spot. Hey, doc, I can't stand too long. My feet kill me. Hey, doc, I can't sit too long. My feet kill me. Well, I got to kind of alternate and find a job that I can stand up and sit down as I please and not have to sit, you know, in an office or, or whatever it may be, especially, you know, considering the type of footwear. If you have a job that requires you to wear dress shoes, well, that's not going to do you any favors or going to help plantar fasciitis at all. So those are the different types of things that as vets, we don't even think of. It's just something we just, OK, we'll deal with it. Press on. It's part of it, but it's not part of it your civilian counterparts aren't dealing with the things that you're having to deal with, even your fellow veterans who aren't connected for those conditions. You know, a lot of vets at the end of the day, you know, the symptoms can vary and symptoms can change, but there's a bigger picture to this and an understanding and, and really being educated on how the process works is going to be night and day difference on you being fairly and accurately rated. Yeah. You know, and I see here in the chat, so you're talking about being fairly and accurately rated, you know, Rob had posted that they weren't sure if any of the chats went through so that, that they get insoles and have boots for the plantar fasciitis. Um, and so, you know, 90%, 10% for right ankle strain, Rob, this is where, again, right. Having a coach to be able to look through and help you strategize to get you from 90 to hundred. Um, to see where, you, you know, if you've got potential increases, if you're, you know, if you're already service connected for plantar fasciitis, you know, again, making sure that you're maxed out. And if not, you know, being able to help you find and understand that criteria that they're looking for, you know, that's, that's the key part there. Another thing to add with that. So if you guys go to our website, it's just vaclaimsinsider.com. Uh, top right for veterans by veterans. If you hit that for veterans drop down, that is where you're going to see a lot of the resources. You'll see the blog, you'll see the, the military disability made easy. Um, but more importantly, speaking on the, I was going to kind of go down the road of VA math. Cause he was like, I'm at 90 and 10, 90 and 10 doesn't equal hundred. And I know that's frustrating. And I know I've got vets who are like, I'm 250%. I don't understand what's going on here. The website also has a disability calculator, makes it super easy and interactive for you guys. Just select whatever conditions you have and you guys can find out where you're rated and then not have to worry about doing and, and writing out the VA math, right? Cause it can be a pain and it's definitely not fun, but the calculator, you just plug and chug and you'll see exactly where you fall. Yeah, man. That, and those calculators are great resources. I, I just talked to a veteran the other day. It was like, I've got 70. I need, you know, three more tens, uh, not the way they do math. Um, so Teresa, I saw, there's a mention in the chat here about keep putting in for flat feet and plantar fasciitis and it's in your records. How do you get over this hump? So this is where I say signing up and getting a coach to look through the letters that you've received from the VA to help you determine what medical evidence it is that you're missing to help you fill that gap. Right. Um, so it could be a nexus statement. It could be something where maybe there was a, a gap in continuity of care. This is where having a coach that can help you understand these things, because I can tell you that for the longest time with my own claims processes, I remember when I would get those denial letters, I never understood them. I would just see, you know, not service connected and crumble it up into a ball and, and, and chuck it off into a box that would live in my garage for a decade. Um, but, you know, I know as coaches, we're all trained to be able to, to look through that and help you identify those 
those errors where you can then again, fill those gaps in terms of the clues to triangle to help you get service connected. Plus having a coach, not only do they, are they going to educate you and you're going to learn through this process and we're going to, you know, walk you through and help you and assist you. But at the end of the day, you know, for me, it's just that motivating factor too of knowing like, I mean, it's, it's a kick in the gut every single time I waited eight months and you're telling me one little thing or one thing was missed. And now I just, back to the drawing board right so it can be a very very frustrating fight especially when most of us half of us if not all of us who knows right are dealing with our own mental health stuff so at the end of the day um it, it just can streamline the process right if you get with the coach one thing you file one decision one claim whenever one click you end up putting yourself in a situation where now you just postponed you get into where you need to get for 6 12 18 months and now you have to get additional evidence and do a supplemental claim. So the the details matter, but there's more to it than just that. Like I said, just that motivation of like, oh, okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. My coach, I don't let my vets quit. If they, and they do get frustrated, especially when we do it the right way. And sometimes we do it the right way and it still comes back like that. So that's why it's all more important to keep fighting. And, and yeah. For sure. Um, and, you know, Mark, there's a question in the chat here from Michelle about do we charge for our services to help veterans get their disability? So there's Michelle, there's no upfront fee to sign up as an elite member. OK, the company, if you don't win your claim, we don't charge anything. But if you do win, we do charge six times your monetary increase and in your monthly benefits. So, you know, a quick way of explaining that is if you went from five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars and then your change in your benefits was five hundred, we would times that by six. So, again, we don't charge up front for the coaching services. But if you win your claim, then you get an increase in your monetary benefits. We do charge for that increase. But outside of that, um, again, there's no upfront fee. And if you don't win, we don't charge you anything for the services. But we will win. It's just a matter of time, right? <laughs> you know, and Mark, it's funny you mentioned that. I got denied for my back six times um, and I finally got service connected like 10 years later. Um, I gave up many times throughout that process. And a lot of the vets that I talk to have given up. Um, you know, I, I get vets that have given up for 30, 40 years. And when we can look at some things and figure out what it is that we can do to help them get service connected, you know, linking them with resources and things like that so they can fill those gaps of the clues of triangle. You know, it's been a huge victory to see those things be overturned after all that time. I mean, there's no back pay to those dates, but, you know, being able to get that service connected moving forward is huge. I see a great question here. Jimmy in the chat asked that people that make decisions on your claims um, don't have medical training. Is that true? So um, the rating specialists are not doctors, if that's what you're asking, Jimmy. Um, and I see that you said you gave up over 20 years ago. Um, brother, don't give up. Um, the fight's not over unless we give up, OK? Uh, I've seen veterans that got out in the 60s that filed claims for hearing loss and tinnitus that, you know, got them approved in, you know, months ago. So don't give up. Um, you know, I also worked with veterans for a long time where they would not step foot in a VA facility for 50 years, but then still realize that as long as they had the ability to be able to fit the gaps for the clues to triangle, that service connection was still an option. So please, please, Jimmy, don't give up. Um, continue your fight. Yes, please do. Those always make the best stories too when we get those wins. They really do. Mark's got a great question here about um, do we help with Nexus letter doctors, Nexus letters, like lawyers claim that they do. So Mark, our company partners with a company that if you need to utilize those resources, you can. So, you know, here's where I'd say, you know, Nexus letters from doctors, you know, that's where upfront costs would come into play. Um, and so, you know, Telemedica is the company that we partner with. Um, not all veterans need to utilize those resources. But again, if the Nexus is what the VA is claiming that you're missing in your claim, then Telemedica might be a really good fit for you to be able to help you get service connected. So. Um, our company does partner with somebody that can assist with that. And if you sign up, you would have a coach that would be able to help, you know, discuss that process with you. So, you know, again, there's the link to be able to be an elite member, completely free to sign up and you only get charged if you win. Not only that, but we, we have so many veterans that we 
send that way to, to help, you know, with the evidence at the end of the day, they get discounted pricings for being VACI members. So you can go to Telemedica that you can ask for an access letter diagnosis, everything that they offer with their services. But if you're working with VACI and you're a member with us, then you get discounted pricing. Yeah, the discounted pricing for, for them is a huge discount when you're a client. And if not, you know, those prices. So if you don't sign up and you need to utilize their resources, be prepared and <laughs> be prepared. That might be a little shock value there. Um, yeah. You know, so yeah, I got, great, RJ just, asked a question. I don't have a service connected disability for orthopedic or any foot disability. How hard is it to get service connection? So even the veterans that do not have anything service connected or have never applied for benefits before in their life or didn't know what benefit the VA had any of this stuff, or you were denied for everything, no matter what position you're in as a veteran, uh, unless you have a dishonorable discharge, we can get you on the phone and we can steer you in the right direction. Uh, even if we have to get our foot in the door, right? We're, it's always subjective to you and what you have going on on your day to day. But for example, tinnitus is a very, very common condition that veterans have. We've weapon range, fire, Ugh, cannot talk today. Firing range, qualifying on weapons, uh, flight line, being exposed to, high, I mean, the kennels are Lackland. There's, I can't tell you how many hundreds of dogs. There's just the constant barking and loud. So at the end of the day, there's ways that you can try and link an in-service event and or speak to the condition to even get something connected and then start stemming with secondaries. So, you know, it is a process. Sometimes we do got to get our foot in the door. But once we get that foot in the door and we open up that that map to start hacking away, that's that's really where you'll see the difference. And, and you know, it's all about being able to establish the three criteria for the clues or tri triangle. You know, so that in-service event or injury, the current diagnosis, and the link between the two. You know, RJ, I'd tell you there's a really great blog post on you know how to get service connected um, on the website. I definitely check that out. Um, there's lots of good information in there especially if it's something that you've not pursued before, right? And so this is, again, where having a coach can help guide you through that process, right? I know even as a service officer, I thought that there were ways that I knew to guide people through the claims process. Um, what I love about the company is that they've simplified that, um, which for me as a veteran made it a lot easier, um, not only as a coach, but if I was the end user, I would, you know, it'd be much simpler for me to be able to navigate a, such a very difficult process of VA disabilities. And we're only getting better. We're only growing. We're only getting better systems, better softwares, better tools to help and, and continue to reach more veterans at the end of the day. This is why we do it. I want to make sure all the fellow veterans out there are where they need to be, where they should be. Cause I know the effect it had on my life and, and a lot of the people I work with lives and the lives of the veterans that I help on a day to day. I mean, I keep in touch with some vets who've won months ago and we still keep in touch. So it's, it's one of those things that you really do build a relationship and just a network. And even if you just jump on just to hang out and just to shoot, you know, having conversations with the coaches on coffee with the coaches, then, you know, it's just, it's just a good place to be around a lot of like-minded individuals. It helps you realize, you know, there's a lot of other similar situations and, and veterans who are going through similar things that make you, make you seem a little less crazy, you know? And, and, and that's what I love about the coffee with the coaches sessions um, for a veteran that struggles with mental health. Those, those morning sessions always brighten up my day, um, no matter how crazy things can be. And so I, that's one of the great resources that I love about the program. Um, you know, I, I know that I saw a question in here about needing a nexus. Let's see. Chuck asked, do you need a nexus if it's in your active duty medical records? Possibly, Chuck. Um that would really depend on if you submitted a claim, they've denied you for some specific reason due to a lack of a nexus. I would also tell you that if you didn't seek treatment right away um, and continue to have that continuity of care, then you may potentially need a nexus for that condition. Um, you know, some conditions that are presumptive don't require nexus um, statements. And so, again, you would want to link with a coach to be able to understand if that's medical evidence that you need as part of your claim. Um, and Juan, I saw Juan asked where the charges charging six times um, come from. So that's access to the coach. That is access to all the resources, the CNP prep classes, the claims filing classes, 
coffee with the coaches, those specialty classes. There's lots of different Telemedica. Telemedica, right? So there's a lot of different resources that veterans get access to, which is again, why we say, right? If you don't win your claim, we don't charge you anything, even if you've utilized those resources. But if you do win your claim, then it is six times that monetary increase. George asks, can you access my personal VA medical records as we go through the claims process? All right, George. So we are not <laughs> accredited VSOs or attorneys. We are coaches. Okay. So what we do, and, and once you sign up, you'll get access to your uh, insider portal, right? Which is all HIPAA compliant and secure. It's a place and we give you instructions. We've got all kinds of videos, how to guides. Uh, we can walk you through on the phone if we need to, but essentially, you will gather what's necessary or what's needed. There's not much. It doesn't take long. You can literally knock it out within 30 minutes, get it into the portal. And then once it's in the portal, your coaches can take a look and review and, and actually dive deeper into, for example, say your coach is like, hey, upload a decision letter. Now, as the coach, I can go in there. It's all secure and compliant. I can read the decision letter, see the reasoning and let you know as the veteran exactly what we need to do to fight back on this claim or why you know, it had that outcome based on the reasoning of that letter. So to answer your question, you do have to do the work, right, guys? This is your, nobody should care more about your claim than you. This is y'all's money. This is y'all's benefit. This is y'all's claim. You know, we're here to guide you. And of course, you know, obviously our services come with a cost, but we're going to guide you every step of the way to put yourself in that position to be able to change your life. And then it's up to you to change it. Yep. And, you know, I noticed, um, you know, it looks like, you know, let's see here. I saw Cindy asked about trying to get her husband some help and trying to find all of his records. Everything is so confusing. And, you know, and then Mark mentioned, you know, potentially, you know, getting some help and RJ as well. Cindy, this is where I'd say link up, get, get a coach, simplify this process. It is extremely confusing, and that's why it's good to be able to leverage somebody that's got that experience to be able to assist you and help you with your claim. So, you know, go to VAClaimsInsider.com. Go ahead and get signed up. That way you're not alone. Um, that's one of the biggest things that I, I've taken away from being a coach is that my clients, my veterans, my brothers and sisters aren't alone in this process. And it's very frustrating and confusing, you know, especially as you talk about things like plantar fasciitis, where, you know, the rating changed. And so some veterans are at 50 percent. Some veterans are at 30. You know, there's a bilateral factor that's that, that gets played into account for ratings there. And you know, there's that potential loss of use. And, you know, again, how severe those symptoms are to be able to see where you qualify in that 10, 20, 30 percent range now. So. You know, having a coach is really going to be one of the most valuable things that I, I believe that you can do to be able to set yourself up for success in your VA claims process. Well said, man. You know, and so with that being said, this is where I'd say, you know, VA claims insider, you know, is a coach, that strategy, that education, that medical evidence, that's what we've learned helps win claims and wins them faster. You know, having a coach allows you that one on one coaching with somebody so that you have somebody that can answer questions for you along the way and, and guide you throughout this process. Um, you know, Mark, I love the classes that we do each week because anybody that's going in to file a claim can jump into the claims filing class and learn, you know, what they need to be doing as they're going through that process step by step. I mean, the CNP prep classes so that, you know, no matter if you've got weeks before an exam or, or you know days, you can jump into a CNP prep class and hear the things that can help guide you through that process. So, you know that's what I love about that. You know, especially with coffee with the coaches, man. Coffee with the coaches is one of my favorites by far. Yeah, it's good times, and and even all the other. At the end of the day, those classes, you know, when you jump on, I tell my vets, you don't you don't have to have the camera on, you don't even have to say anything or speak, but just jump on. Sometimes hearing other vets talk or ask their questions might trigger something in the brain to be like, oh, I didn't even know that was a thing or I didn't know that was possible. And you, you see it happen. I mean, we see it happen every day when we're on those Zoom classes. One vet will say one thing or ask a question. It leads to a conversation. And the next thing you know, the whole class is like, oh, my gosh, I didn't I didn't even know. Like, that's insane. So it's just, yeah, if you're not doing anything and you're hanging out, you might as well just jump on and and gather as much information as you can to put yourself in a better situation. 
Yeah, and so it, you know, Melva asked, are the classes free? So Melva, when you're an elite member, those classes are part of the program, right? It's the resources that you have access to. So again, that's one of the things that goes in terms of six times the monthly increase if you do win your claim is that you have access to all of these classes multiple times a week. Um, the CMP prep class is being able to jump into those like three or four times before an exam. You know, you don't have to ask a question in the classes like Mark just mentioned, right? You can be a fly on the wall. More than likely, somebody, some other veteran in that class is going to ask something that's potentially relatable to what you're dealing with, which might prompt you to ask something, which again, makes you, makes you stronger to be able to help present your case and your claim to the VA. So if you don't have a coach, definitely sign up, do one of those uh, free 30 minute discovery calls. You know, I, I see that they're posting, you know, Mark's and, and, and I's link there in the chat. So you can sign up directly with one of us and get us as your coach. Um, you know, and, and that's why I say there's a lot of benefit and value from having somebody that can guide you through this confusing, frustrating process. So if definitely. you signed up, so yep, go ahead, Mark. Go ahead. Sorry. So Bob said I signed up a few years ago. I'm still an elite member. Bob, if you're still an elite member, then just shoot an email or, or give a phone call because you can just pick back back up where you left off, man. We're I know sometimes things happen, life happens, right? And sometimes priorities shift and you got to take care of whatever it is you got to take care of. But if you've already signed up and then you know you want to get back onto it and then pick back up, then yeah, get in touch with us because you can pick back up where you left off. Definitely, Bob. And for those of you that haven't signed up yet, if you need help, reach out to us at VAClaimsInsider.com. We'd love to partner with you on your VA claim journey. You know, I want to thank everybody because I know how hard it is for us to take time out of our days. Um, most of us have really crazy schedules and work and life. And so thank you all for joining us today. Um, thank you for your service. If you're stuck, frustrated and, and in need of some help, go ahead and reach out to us. See what we can do to, to get everybody squared away. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. Y'all take care.